All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to try something new from Chipotle. This is actually a requested video. The subscriber wanted me to try the new quesadillas. Um, I wish it included those little cute boxes that I've been seeing on YouTube. Those are so cute. They have like the beans and the guacamole and sour cream in these little, it's a cute container, but mine didn't come like that. Mine came in a Chipotle bowl like container, but that's what it looks like. Um, you have like the guacamole, you have the salsa, pencil beans and sour cream. I got some chips. All right, I want to give you a close up. This is a chicken quesadilla. Um, I wish it came in that cute little container like I've been seeing on YouTube, but it doesn't have it. I got just some chips, guacamole, pencil beans, sour cream and salsa. So I think I know what I'm going to do to make it look a little bit nicer is um, I'm going to get um, put it on this plate. Just look a little bit nicer. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is what it looks like on the plate. Oh, let me get the chips. Where are the chips at? So um, I did see Steven Sushi try this, and he said it was really good. I guess the, it's different than a regular quesadilla from Chipotle. I guess they grill it or something. They make it differently. Ah! All right, let's get started. Let's try the chicken quesadilla, see if it's any good or not. I'll try it plain and then I'll add some guacamole, sour cream. Well, interesting, the sour cream. It's like half gone. <laughs> but everything else is pretty full. Let's try it plain and then I'll add some like salsa, guacamole, sour cream. Hmm. Yeah. The cheese tastes pretty good on here. And I'm drinking some water. It's really hot today. It's pretty good. I wish they would add more stuff to it. Like just not just chicken and cheese, maybe like veggies or something added, just not just chicken and cheese, but um, okay, I'm gonna try it with some sour cream. Mm. It's pretty good with sour cream. They gave me a lot of guacamole because I had, you can get three any size for free. Guacamole, you have to pay extra, like two fifty, I think. Two, or, I think it was three fifty with chips, but this is really full. So far, it's not that spicy, so that's good. <laughs> you guys know I don't like spicy food, but let's try with some guacamole. It's pretty good with guacamole. Really good. Okay, I have some pencil beans as well. Those beans are good. A little spicy, but a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. Um, yeah, well, I need to add some salsa in here too. Can't get the salsa in here. Let's try that. <laughs> One sec. So this is pretty good. It, it's not like, oh my God, it's like the best thing ever. Like I was, it wasn't like Steven Sushi. Oh my God, this is so good. It wasn't like, it's not like that. I don't think it's like that at all. But honestly, I was watching some food reviews and um, they were saying it's kind of expensive. And somebody reviewed it and they also reviewed the original quesadilla. And they said it was much bigger. but just not like folded like this with the grill marks. Um, I don't eat a lot at Chipotle. I'm not really big on it for some reason, but, but I have to say it's okay. <laughs> you can choose a lot of different meats. I actually, I would prefer chicken and the subscriber that wanted me to try it, wanted chicken. I might have this one with the vegetarian, the veggie one. Because I love veggies. I like veggies and like quesadillas. But um, this is still fine. It's 
So today's Sunday around 7 p.m. Uh, my nephew came over today after church and um, I made him a grilled cheese sandwich. He said he hasn't had a grilled cheese sandwich in like over a year and a half or something. He just loved it so much. And I gave him some of the Trader Joe's coconut shrimp. He really liked that as well. And we did watch a really good movie on Netflix called Bad Trip. And I was just going to check it out for a few minutes to see what it was about. And it was so freaking funny. I was one of the best shows I've ever seen. It's hilarious. I was laughing so loud. It was so funny. I definitely recommend it. I could tell you a little bit about it. It basically is about um, this guy that wants to go to New York to meet. He, he had a crush on this girl in high school and, he, and she was moving to New York and he wanted to meet her in New York and tell her his feelings about her. <laughs> Um, that's all. I'll, okay. That's the only thing I'll kind of give away. But um, but the way it was filmed was really it was really different. It wasn't like a movie. It was like you're actually there. You know, like a YouTube thing or something. Yeah, I just felt like it was the way it was different. I just loved the different angles and the and the reactions from people. Um, just the reactions were just so raw. And it and I found out that part of the movie, they did pranks on people. So you got the reactions. I don't know. It was just a really good movie. Um, just have to say that it's it's pretty R-rated, so if you have kids, I don't know if I would recommend it. But um, if you're into the R-rated stuff, check it out. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. It was really fun. One of the best movies I've ever seen. It was so good. <laughs> These beans are really good, actually. Mmm. So yesterday was Saturday. I decided to grind all day on Uber Eats. So I was like, I just want to work all day. I want to see how much money I can actually make. And I woke up at 6.30 in the morning on Saturday. I didn't really, I took a shower. I ate breakfast. I did a little short live video. I took my first delivery at 7.45 a.m. And um, it was kind of like, it wasn't so busy in the morning, afternoon. The evening got more busier. But I just worked all day. I, I took a little bit of a nap around 3 to 5, rested a little bit, then went back. I think I did 3 or 4 deli evening deliveries and I made, I actually made 105. Um, this guy gave me a $5 cash tip. He's like, I don't think I gave you enough tip. And I was like, more than enough because it's Burger King. People at Burger King or fast food don't tip that much. So it was more than enough actually. He was a really nice guy. He was an older guy and he was like, this is the first food I've had and out. Like, I was like, wow, really? And he's like, yeah, I'm really excited to eat my Whopper. And it was just, it was, he was a really nice guy. Yeah, and I came home. Oh my God. I came home at seven. I was like, I'm so tired. And today I woke up, I really felt it. I was just so tired all day. I had some muscle pain in my body because I did a lot of walking and Sometimes I had to walk far to the restaurant. There was no parking. And so, yeah, my muscles are feeling it today. Being full, guys. A lot of cheese in here. Cheese is very filling. Yeah, it was kind of cool having food delivered. I have that maybe two or three times a year. I just usually get the food because it feels just, it feels weird just like, you know what I'm going to put everything in here. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do an experiment. Put some beans. Try to put it in here. It was just kind of fun to order food since I, since I did it already. It was a nice treat for myself. I don't hardly ever do that. Um, the guy was super fast. He was like, he was fast. <laughs> I don't know if that's made too much though. I will dip it in the sour cream. I don't know. This feels really full.
Pretty good actually. I think it's about 10 bucks for this and three sides. Guacamole is extra, chips are extra. I would definitely recommend it if you haven't tried it. And it's pretty good. There's no choice in Chipotle. You can't add the veggies. That's not an option. A food reviewer talked about that. He was like, I wish they would add the veggies, and that's not an option. Um, but it would be nice if they did that. I'm getting really full. I think a few more chips. That might be it. So full. All right, guys, now I want to give you my rating just for the fun of it. Um, I would probably give this three out of five because it's pretty good. So I'm not, no, it's not the best cassie I've ever had, but it's cool that you could add three sides and just like when I make quesadillas, I have to add onions and like vegetables. But yeah, I would give it a try if I, I don't know if it's going to be a temporary thing or it's just new on the menu. Also, another subscriber wanted me to um, eat Chinese food and I asked them, you know, Panda Express or like a local Chinese restaurant. They prefer Panda. I, I prefer Panda as well. My local Chinese restaurants are really expensive. So Panda, I find that's a really good deal and they have really good food there. So that's coming up. I'm not sure if I'm going to do, do that this week or next weekend, but I'm going to do that video soon. So that's coming up. And let me know, guys, have you tried this quesadilla? Do you like it? Do you love it? Yeah, the chicken's good in here. No problem with the chicken. It was hot when I got it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.